everyone. It's been a long wait. These three weeks that we have been away from you so that you can come over on the channel and the message that is waiting for you from your guardian angels and your guides. So hope you all have done that. Many of you have written to us that you have had some amazing answers and guidance that has come forth through this exercise and that each time that you came on the channel you precisely went to that particular episode that had an answer for you. So hope you keep coming here and keep doing that exercise nonetheless. So today on this beautiful Sunday as we speak with you we are having a wonderful revamped and power packed abundance workshop going on. And as this workshop goes on, we are ready many a souls to break away from the old patterns, belief systems around abundance. In this prosperous day with our beautiful message and affirmation for the week. Let's see what the angels want to tell us for the week ahead. And we are back again with our wonderful book, Angels Speak. And today's message and affirmation for the week ahead says, Be the mirror that shows the truth but does not retain the reflection. You are created in the light of God himself. His image is your image. When you hate that image of yours or anyone else's, you hate him. What a beautiful message. We often have been told, read or known, that we are reflecting each and every moment that which is inside us. Our life outside is a mirror image of what lies within. And that every time that we are conflicting with ourselves or hating ourselves or hating what is happening outside of us, we need to go within and see, what am I emitting? What am I transmitting? What am I reflecting? And when you are able to do that with complete objectivity, without any judgment analysis or any subjective mind games that come in between, then you shall be able to receive. And if you are able to do that by going within and being completely objective and non-judgmental of what's coming up, then you shall receive accurate answers for why you are doing what you are doing and why your life outside of you is transmitting and showing everything that you are seeing. With this message, the angels tell us that a mirror is showing us the truth. You are standing in front of the mirror and the mirror is showing you the way you look. But the moment you move away from the mirror, it does not retain your image. It does not imprint your image anywhere. And that's what life is all about. We meet people, we have situations all around us that keep on happening. We have lots of drama unfolding every day, every moment. But we need not retain all of this in our energy. We need not keep this, you know, confined in our energetic imprints and hold on to it. Whether it is grudges, resentments, unforgiveness or just mere judgments and opinions about people and situations of our life. So the angels guide us that when we hate any image that we see outside or that we hate our own image within ourselves, then we are actually hating God, the supreme power, the creative highest power of the world, of the universe, because we are created in his likeness. So the angels ask us to move away from all such judgments and opinions that we may have for ourselves or anyone else or anything else. Let's see what is the affirmation that we can do from this wonderful book that the angels guide us so that we can resonate these energies of this particular message and bring it about in our life beautifully. The affirmation of the week says, I am the vortex of the universal energies residing within me. I am a direct image of my creator. I shall repeat the affirmation for you. I am the vortex of the universal energies residing within me. I am a direct image of my creator. Do this affirmation seven times in the morning and seven times in the night for it to resonate with you. 
This week has been extremely heavy with energies of the full moon that just went by. So, be patient with yourself. Just release all that is unserving and let it go to the light. Be happy that you are releasing it all. Do not be overwhelmed with all the mark or the churning up that is happening within you or the irritation or the anger or the resentment that's surfacing up. It is all coming out possibly. It is possibly also meaning that you have been working on your inner self. You've been working with your angels and guides and they have been digging deep within for this entire turbo wash and churning to happen. So be rest assured that there is some background work going on and do not worry about it. And now we get on to the most awaited part, the gift angel reading for the week. And our this week's winner is Pallavi Dengra from So Pallavi, let's see what the angels have to tell you. I want to tell you, has made you forget your own divine nature which comprises of divine gifts and potential. Appreciate yourself every time you transcend a seemingly negative situation with positivity. We can help you polish your talents for the betterment of the world and at the same time guard you against any ego slips that you may come across. Dear Pallavi, with this message the angels want to tell you that you have forgotten to love yourself. You have forgotten to appreciate yourself. There are some choices in life that you have made which you have not been very happy about and they want you to know it's perfectly fine. It's perfectly alright to make those wrong choices because they were never wrong when you made them. You felt extremely right about it and thus you made them. These all contain certain lessons for your soul. But every time with faith and perseverance that you have transcended a certain lesson or learnt a certain thing from your situations, the angels want to applaud you. And they want you to applaud yourself, your soul, for taking that step, for having this faith in divinity and holding on for so long. They wish to tell you that the light is around the corner. In the next two to three months, there is a large gateway going to open up for you. And you shall once again be made to make the choices that you have to for your path ahead. But if you keep yourself in positivity and prayers irrespective of the ongoings in your life, then you shall move towards these beautiful openings of floodgates of universal good. And as a seamless jigsaw puzzle coming all in place right in front of your eyes. So all the best to you and hope you work with your angels and guides at a daily level morning and night to go through this process while you reach that point of opening up to all the universal good in your life. And now we move on to the color of the day. Today being Sunday, once again, we begin with the color red. The red for the root chakra. Work with the red to completely clear and cleanse all your misbeliefs, old belief patterns, fears, insecurities that you may have around career or just about any interaction in your life. When you strengthen your root chakra, cleansing and purifying it with the help of your guides and angels, you shall be able to eradicate all these life uh, you know, things that kind of uh, chain you, bind you, all these fears that constantly grip you from moving towards your goodness, moving towards your change. So, work with the color red today and concentrate at the base of your spine to clear and purify your root chakra so that you feel safe, you feel protected, you feel universe. So stay blessed, loved and protected in love and light and Godspeed!